lugging something in our mind constantly it's like exactly like holding this phone on my palm non-stop it's going to start affecting my wrist ptsd right post-traumatic stress disorder just so much in there just like this all the time this is exactly what i'm doing to my mind exactly what i did to my palm my memories my anxieties my past impressions is doing this Swamiji, I am one of the survivor of 26-11 at Taj. Oh. I was a hostage uh, uh, 15 years ago. I took uh, six months of uh, counseling and I was traumatized. Now, taking that uh, clue forward, uh, most of us in this room uh, would like to know about how does one address uh, the issues relating to daily life of stress and trauma um, and would two things that we all uh, would like uh, to take away from here, Swamiji. Thank you very much. If I might ask all of you, what is the weight of this phone? Like approximately? 200 grams? 250 grams maybe? <clears throat> Imagine if I were to hold this phone on my palm, just about 250 grams. But if I were to hold it for the next 20 minutes of my answering questions, probably start hurting my wrist a little bit. If I were to hold it for the rest of the evening without putting it down, I'm going to really start hurting my wrist a lot. And if I were to hold this phone on my palm for the rest of the week without putting it down, my wrist will probably start getting a little number. Numb. Isn't it? Now, it's not so much about the weight of the phone. It's for how long am I carrying it on my palm. Right? Our past memories, our stresses, what's happened to us is like something that we are lugging in our mind constantly. It could be a small thing, it could be a big thing. But when we are lugging something in our mind constantly, it's like exactly like holding this phone on my palm non-stop. It's going to start affecting my wrist. If I'm going to think about my, this relative of mine, friend of this book, the stories in my book, Energize Your Mind, the second book, where I talk about how this relative of mine came up on my father's funeral day. I was my father's body still lying there and this gentleman says that I was the cause of my father's death in front of everybody. Now who has gotten an insult like that? Where you're called the cause of your father's death in a public forum and the father, my father's body is not even cremated yet. Now, every single time I see this guy, you know how every, it becomes like a stimulus, a trigger to bring back those past memories. An entire chapter in the book is about dealing with these memories, right? PTSD, right? Post-traumatic stress disorder, just so much in there, just like this all the time. This is exactly what I'm doing to my mind, exactly what I did to my palm. My memories, my anxieties, my past impressions is doing this. Now imagine, you can't really take it off. Will you be able to take the 2611 experience off your mind completely? Never. Will I be able to take out that statement that this gentleman made about my father's death saying I was the cause of my father's death? Never. And each one of us has our own stories and memories and impressions that we have in our mind. We're not going to be able to take it out of our minds ever. Somebody hurt you deeply and there was a heartbreak somebody had in a relationship. How is a person going to take it off from their mind? You cannot take it off completely, ladies and gentlemen. But I know one thing. I can at least occasionally keep it down if I can. That will make my wrist feel a little better because it's going to come back up again. Here I've consciously chosen to put the phone down. It's not jumping back on my palm. But in my mind, I might consciously try to purge my thoughts out, but it's going to come back in my mind again. But even if for those 20 minutes, an hour, a day, if I can keep it away, my mind is feeling relaxed and better. Which is precisely why a mental detox is extremely essential and imperative to be able to keep a stable frame of mind. And what? how does one detox one's mind? There's so many ways to do it. Meditation, of course, is one way to do it. But one very, very, very powerful way to do it is journaling. Journaling. Journaling is an extremely powerful way of pouring out everything that you have in your mind on paper. 
and absolutely doing it free flow no editing no censoring if i get a swear word i'm writing a swear word there just make sure whoever you're using that swear word for doesn't get the paper in the hand <laughs> that's all you'll need to make sure so you burn it tear it throw it whatever you need to do but let it come out this tremendous power and potential in taking this out right and again journaling doesn't ensure it's not going to come back up again but the very fact that you have you have a relaxed mind even if it comes back you are in a better position to deal with it because you've taken it off for a while now imagine if the phone were on your hand and you were just not able to take it off at all even after journaling i'm just going to hold this microphone like this you you mind doing that thank you so much if the phone is like this imagine if somebody else puts a palm down there and shares that burden along with you now your wrist is taking half of the weight and somebody else is taking half of that weight that is the power of confiding opening your heart sharing your troubles with somebody and seeking help you know what the one thing that i always love to say we don't have to struggle alone do we have to struggle alone why are we in our own shells why are we thinking i have to do it myself there is help available if we seek it seek and thou shall find knock and the door shall open all right i tell the story often of a gentleman who had a 5 year old girl his daughter and both of them were walking on a road like in a countryside road and there was a massive storm and there was a huge tree that had fallen on the road huge humongous like huge trunk and this little 5 year old said to her dad uh, dad do you think i can move this tree away the father said yes darling if you use all your strength so the girl went and gave her gave every bit of her energy to push the tree obviously the girl was a 5 year old the tree was huge it wouldn't move she came back to the father said dad i can't move it the father said darling i told you if you give if you use all your strength you can most certainly move the tree uh, she went again tried she couldn't exasperated frustrated she came back to the father and said dad i can't do it the father said look darling i told you to use all your strength and you're only using yours is your strength alone all your strength no i am here as your father right are you could have turned to me and said dad can you help me i didn't ask you to use your strength i asked you to use all your strength ladies and gentlemen a lot of times we are only using our strength to deal with a lot of our issues let us start using all our strength and in that all our strength start identifying those people those individuals who can really help us deal with what we are going through so yes journaling meditation can help us detox but also support systems can help us deal with it isliye main kai baar ek hindi mein mera bahut favorite sher hai kai conclaves mein sunaya maine isko aaj bhi sunai de बहुत बढ़िया अच्छा लगता है मुझे कहते हैं कि छोटे से दिल में गम बहुत है छोटे से दिल में गम बहुत है जिंदगी ने दिए जख्म बहुत है कब की मार डालती है जालिम दुनिया हमें कम वक्त इन दोस्तों की दुआओं में दम बहुत है राइट दैट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इज समथिंग दैट विल प्रॉब्ली हेल्प अस डील विद वॉट वी आर गोइंग थ्रू वे बेटर देन इफ वी वर टू स्ट्रगल अलोन 